tell a hooligan click. You be rapping by a blow, I will move in the brick. Talk about shoe night, now we're doing it quick. If I hit you in the face, you gon' be suing me quick. If I catch another case, I know it truly be missed. So I'ma keep a cool head, stay out of the news headlines, and show these other rappers the best time. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. We call him Ryder, he's sick and he's spitting fire in Mike, got him out the dryer, he's hot, found him in Fort Minor with top, but a fucking nihilist, porcupine, he's a prick, he's a cop. Kick your heels up and shout. Throw your hands up and shout. Throw your head back and shout. But come on now, the bills are making it happen now. Stand up now, come on and shout. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sitting here with assistant men's soccer coach here at Fredonia State, John Grabowski. Uh, if you wouldn't mind giving us a, just a brief history on your playing and coaching career. Right, um, yeah, I came here in 2007 and I played here for four years. I decided to stay and coach, and this is my second year as an assistant coach, and I'm uh, really enjoying it. So just based off this uh, this past season, what were some of the things that you feel the team really excelled in this year? Uh, the team was really a close group, so that was one of the strongest parts of the team, and um, so that really helped out with team chemistry, and I don't know if you guys you could really see it. Uh, in the past, we haven't had that camaraderie as close, and sort of affects it negatively. So that was one of the strongest things that we had this year. Uh, just looking forward to next year, what are some of the things early on you could see that need to be improved on for next season? Um, I'd say that we struggled a little bit with um, carrying out our game plan. Um, we spent a lot of time focusing on what our opponents are doing and what our strong points are that can help counter what they're doing. So we didn't really carry that out that well, so hopefully in the spring we can work on it and next year. Just um, being able to be have everyone be flexible and do certain roles that can help us win. And then just looking forward to the future again, uh, do you 
with the prospective athletes and recruiting? What are some of the things that you guys look for? Um, as far as the players coming in? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, basically, you know, obviously you're looking at, when you first go out, you look for players that are the best players on the team that are on the field at the time. Um, and then you try to find out a little bit more about those players. So what I mean is you don't want a player that's going to come here and cause some problems with either team chemistry or is going to be a bad student. So, yeah, you're looking for a player that's going to help the team on the field, but it's more important that you have a good individual that's going to help the team off the field and then we'll, that will carry on over to the field as well. So early on, I know, but what are some of the expectations for next season with guys coming back, guys coming in? What do you guys think? Is yeah, well, I think this year our – we had a great core of freshman players, so we're looking forward to them being a year older next year and having experience. And then we're getting a couple players back from injury that we didn't even get to play this year, so that's going to, you know, we were expecting big things from them this year, and they end up getting hurt. Um, and then again, we're, we're bringing in a good recruiting class. We've had some big visits the last couple of weeks, and uh, we got a couple this weekend and next week. So if we can bring a strong class in and maybe have